Hello, it is Doze Muff Nexi, Jordan here, and this is my very first video ask, and it's very exciting, especially because I had a really crappy day. So when I got my message from Nastya Stark, I was very excited. This is very nice. So she asks what my favorite John Locke head cannons are. So many. Okay, so I actually made a list. I'm not kidding. I sat down and I made a list. Um, this is just what I could think of on like the dot off, off the top of my head. So favorite John Locke head cannons. Okay. I really love the idea of John seeing Sherlock scars after he comes back from his years away and I may or may not be writing a fic about that. I don't know. Um, also matchmaker Lestrade and or matchmaker Mycroft is all kinds of special. Um, what else did I say? Um, oh, I've got, I have a thing for angst, so I love the idea of either one or both holding each other when they have nightmares, because they both have reasons to have nightmares. Um, <laughs> I actually wrote, these are my words, freaking hand-holding kink, because that's about as crazy as my kinks get. Um, I just picture, like, the first time they ever hold hands, and Sherlock is just completely enamored of just the complexities of John's hand and just does not want to let go and I just think it's adorable and holding hands at crime scenes and everybody being like oh my god and they're just like whatever peace um so <laughs> I read and actually maybe two but one in particular that I'll have to look up the name um amazing fic about a Sherlock with amnesia I think it was as a result of the Reichenbach fall and so he has to he doesn't like he doesn't let on that he has amnesia he just um, deduces his and John's relationship and he assumes they're married and it's so cute um oh god it's adorable um what else are, okay I also had love Sherlock taking care of John but like really sneakily because obviously John thinks that Sherlock can't like make a cup of tea but obviously he can so I just picture like oh I don't know like John's had a long day at the surgery and Sherlock like doesn't make dinner but like has all the things like in relatively like n order for him so that he can make whatever he's gonna make when he gets home or like moving the beers to a shelf that's easier to reach or um John falling asleep on the couch and Sherlock tucking him with a blanket and like he doesn't even know but then one time he sees it happen and it's just like oh he cares um there's been some really sweet, really sad fix like John learning about Sherlock's childhood, which I imagine was really sad, and him just being devastated and, and cute, fluffy things happening as a result. Um, <laughs> also, I wrote down John protecting Sherlock while he's in his mind palace, like making sure he stays warm, and depending on where he is, maybe literally protecting him, like if he goes into his mind palace in the middle of a busy street, just like carrying him off to the side and standing there and making sure nobody hits him. Um... Also, <laughs> Sherlock attempting to like what the things that John likes that are just so anti-Sherlock, like watching football and like having pints at the pub with some of John's friends and like it being really obvious that Sherlock is not comfortable, but he does it anyway because he wants to be a good boyfriend to John and then finally John's like, oh my god, like seriously, stay home, I'll be back soon and it will be awesome and we will have lots of cuddly times, but you do not have to be there. I love you anyway. Um, and then the last thing, I don't know if it's a headcanon or an AU, but I really love um, reading anyway, fix where one or both of them are supernatural creatures or wizards, um, especially when like John is a wizard and Sherlock doesn't know and he finds out and is just completely blown away and just thinks it's the coolest thing and wants to experiment with it. Pretty much all my headcanons are really fluffy, ridiculous things and also really angsty things that maybe end up with fluffy cuddling as a result. So yes. <laughs> so thank you, Nastya, for your ask and um, 